Well, what's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're already part of the fam, hello, how are you? And thank you for your continuous support. So today I am super excited because we have a little bit of sun, not a lot. And I've been waiting to have enough sun to film with because you guys know that I like doing my makeup tutorials with natural light. I really don't know what type of look I'm going for today. I really don't know. If you follow me on my Instagram, I'll put it up here so that you can definitely do that. I mentioned that I, on my IG stories, I mentioned that, you know, a lot of times I have lost footage because I didn't like it or it didn't turn out well. And the one video that I was specifically talking about was a makeup video and I was featuring some cargo foundations. Now I did purchase two of them and they were like seven bucks these foundations are originally like 32 dollars but where i live at there's not a whole bunch of brown girls so a lot of their foundations in a more deeper tone they're always on sale so i was like i'm gonna get these so i'm gonna stop rambling because i've been rambling for too long so today i think i'm going to feature those foundations that i mentioned now let's go ahead and get to business so I'm gonna go ahead and do a two-step priming situation I'm using my Smashbox primer water and my Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. And I'm almost out of this. Like, look at that. It's so sad. Okay. That feels so good on the skin. Like, amazing. And now I'm gonna go ahead with my Hydro Primer. And I haven't used this in a while. So I am pretty excited. And my ears itching too. Ah! All right. And so this is a step that I usually always do when it comes to my foundation and that's putting some powder down. And today I'm going to be doing two different powders. Now I started implementing a color powder. I got it from Jackiana. Okay, just to kind of correct a little bit, but I'm first going to go in with my Cover FX powder. And this is their perfect setting powder. And I'm just gonna go in with a sponge and I'm gonna go in areas that get more oily and also areas that I want just to look a little bit more flawless, okay? And we're going to be going back in with that. So I'm going to put it really close to me, okay? And so next I'm actually going to go in to this 3D contour palette and this is by Ruby Kisses. And I'm just going to be going into this top shade, which you probably can't see, but it's this top left shade and it's a little bit orange. So I'm going to place that over the areas where I have hyperpigmentation. I'm going to mix both colors, but I'm going to do more so two to one. And on camera, I mean, I don't know if it's too bright, but on camera you see that this one looks a little bit more darker than this one, but it's not really the case. It's just this one has more of an olive undertone. So I think mixing them together will give me a really good balance. So we're about to find out right now. Now, this may not be my perfect shade, okay? But as we move through the makeup, it should balance out. It smells so good. And when I tell you guys, this foundation like lasts, honey. It lasts. And the finish is really, really nice too. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush. I probably use this brush in all of my makeup tutorials, but it's like such a great brush. So do you guys just see how like a flawless it is? I mean, it dries down to like a powder. Like I'm not even kidding. It's amazing. And I probably mentioned this in my videos as well, but my forehead, and this is for a lot of people, is definitely darker than the rest of my face. So a lot of times I don't really blend all the way up into my hairline because I know I'm going to go in with a contour shade. Oh. Don't be nervous. I'm going to let this soak in for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my brows done. 
I use the Cabral by Benefit and it is absolutely bomb. And then I just use an old Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, eyebrow pencil, but I just used the spoolie in. So pretty much a spoolie and the Benefit Cabral. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I do my brows, then just let me know. But you know, it's super, super simple. Not a lot to it. But let's go ahead and get into the eye makeup because like I mentioned, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, girl. I'm going to go in to my Anastasia of Beverly Hills contour palette. And I'm just going to go into that beige color. And we're going to use this to start priming our eyes and I like this because it's a really really thick now I used to use Mac Pro concealer and I absolutely love that and I've been meaning to go back and get it but I just haven't you know had the time so that's definitely a product that I want to pick up again because it's definitely an OG product I'm gonna start on my Tartlet palette because it is like the best palette for neutrals. And so we're going to start with a crease transition color. I'm using my Morphe MB23 brush, which I love for blending. I mean, it is just amazing for blending, you guys. So if you do have the Tartlet palette, then Dreamer is going to be this color right here, which is the third color on the top row from the left. Okay, start this in the crease. We definitely need to bring some warmth into the eye. I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution palette. I think I'm going to do a mix of some oranges, some reds, some maroon. So I'm going to first start off with an orange and I'm just going to go over that brown that we put down. So then right underneath that, I'm going to go in with a red out of that same palette. And we're just going to bring that down a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back into that orange. And then back into that red again. So I'm just gonna do this until it's built up to my liking. Putting that brown down is really giving me some deep fall vibes, okay? And I think it was definitely necessary because like I don't want this to look like a summer look and that brown is really deepening the colors. So one color in this Makeup Revolution palette that is really intriguing is this corner color right here. So it's it shows up on camera like a pink but it's really not. It's more so of a mauve color. So I'm gonna put that down all over the lid and I'm super excited to see what this looks like. Oh yeah, oh that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is like the perfect fall color. Wow. So my AC just cut on and when does it not cut on in the most inconveniencing times, okay? But I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little bit more dense and I'm just going to tap my brush in the orange and red back and forth and we are going to blend that lid color out. And that color is everything. Like like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna go back over with my first blending brush and give everything just a nice blend. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. And this is L'Oreal True Match. It's in the C6, seven and eight, but it's medium deep, okay? And the one thing that I like about this concealer is that it has an orange undertone to it. So it is perfect for like a correcting concealer for me, which I definitely enjoy. And as you see, that melted so well into my skin. But we want it to be highlighted under there, honey. And so we are going to do that. And then for my concealer, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite concealers. And this is my Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Dark. I don't like to blend out the concealer on my tip of my nose too much. Like just enough, you know what I'm saying? Like just enough because right now it looks like I put on a powder highlight and I didn't. So I think we let this sit for enough time. Now we are going to set that and I'm going back in with that Cover FX powder and this is another Real Techniques brush and I believe it's their contour brush. Then I'm just going to set around the areas that are a little bit more hyper pigmented. So now I'm just going to do a light contour of my face and I'm going back into that Anastasia of Beverly Hills cream contour kit and I'm going to go in with these two colors and I'm going to first brush those on the forehead I'm just going to use that also around the perimeter of my face It's kind of just making my features more prominent. Uh, I really don't cream contour my nose. When if I contour my nose, I'm really just bronzing it up and bringing it back out. I would do that with a powder. This is the same Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, but it's in the shade Deep. And I use this to set my entire face. I'm going to do that lightly because it is darker than me. So I just like to use it just lightly. Now I want to bronze a little bit more and I like doing different methods of bronzing and contouring because it just brings so much dimension to the face. So I'm going to go in with this Becca setting powder and this is in the color tobacco and I'm going to use that same brush I used for the cream and I'm just going to run that more so on the back of the cheeks. And this is gonna bring just a little bit more red to the skin. And I'm also going to use that for my nose. So I just do a nice little brush going up into that brow. And I'm gonna concentrate it. I just pinch it. I'm just using the colors I use on the lid as my lower on my lower lash line. So I'm going to start with that maroon color. And yes, I'm using a blending brush. And the reason I like using a blending brush is because it's going to give me a flush of color. And so then if I want to concentrate the color anymore, 
I'll do that with a smaller brush, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So I'm going to use a MAC pencil brush and I am going to go in and concentrate that maroon color a little bit more on the lower lash line. And I'm going to bring just a little bit of black in there, just a little bit. And this shade isn't really a black, it's more of a gray. And I'm going to darken up that on the corner. Just a tad, as you see there. Like it's way more dimension here than it is over there. For the inner tear duct color, I'm going to be using two shades. I know it's a little dramatic, but trust me, it's going to look beautiful. I'm going to go into this Ruby Kisses palette. It's their Sunrise Sunset Kiss palette. And I'm going to go in with this purple shade right here. And I'm going to put that down first in the corner of the eye. And the reason why I'm putting this down first is because I don't want my inner tear duct to be too much, you know. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Overall Palette. We all know I love to use this, okay. And then I'm going to go in with Spectra, which is the purple shadow in here. And I'm just going to put that over that first shadow. You know, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild mascara first and I've been loving this technique lately and I don't know like in fall time I just drop the lashes overall because fall makeup is so you know grungy and it just gives me a whole different vibe and I like for my eyeshadow to showcase a little bit more in the fall and that's just my own feel but you know that's just what I like. And I'm just going to do a first coat of this. And before this video, I should have my Dollar Tree makeup challenge. And this is actually a mascara that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect first step mascara, like for me. And I love it for my lower lashes as well. Well, because the wand is absolutely perfect for the lower lashes. It grabs them so well. I talk about this mascara a lot and it's the milk mess it's the milk kush mascara and it is so good so I always follow up with this mascara for my top lashes and it thickens them like can you guys see what that just did for my lashes it is insane and it doesn't get all clumped up either all right so we're going to highlight really quickly put on a little bit of blush and lips and we will be done so as always i am using my milani baked bronzer in 04 glow for my highlight and honey it always comes through like look at how that cheek is popping like it's insane so yes i'm using a elf microfiber brush here And then I love doing some right here over the arch of the brow a little bit. And then of course the nose. We can't forget the nose, honey. The nose is like, I don't know, it's like my favorite part to highlight pretty much. And then for my blush, I've been loving this blush right here, which I also picked up from the dollar store, okay? And it's just really nice, you know? It's pretty pigmented, okay? So I'm only going to do a little bit but it's super nice just going to press that in just going to do a little harder of a press there we go there we go so i'm actually going to be using this wet and wild cold crayon and we're going to 
define the lips. For the lip, we're gonna do something matte. So I'm gonna be using two matte lipsticks and these are both by Ruby Kisses. Then I'm gonna go in with the brown on the outside. I always feel like I want more pink in my lipsticks and I always run to this bad boy right here and this is a NYX lipstick and it is in Nude Diaphan. So I'm going to just kind of have more of a pinky tone. For watching today i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the mdd family like and share this video with your friends your family and your associates and i'll see you guys on the next video bye